Yo, what's going on, guys? Today we're talking about the Spurs are expected to pursue a starting above average to almost, you know, like an all-star level point guard or like elite, whatever you want to call it. We've talked about this. They've said Trey Young is too rich. They don't want to meet the, you know, the 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 asking price for Trey Young or Dejounte Murray. I've said the cheap option. What they could do is bring in Tyus Jones maybe bring in Chris Dunn and then run a three guard point guard committee with Chris Young, uh, Chris Dunn, Tyus Young, I mean, Tyus Jones, Chris Dunn, Tyus Jones, and Trey Jones as the three point guard by committee if they strike out and they don't want to spend too much money. Another cheap option I really like is the Chris Paul option. If they want to go vet, then you bring in, you know, like I said, maybe even you get a Tyus Jones and you do that with Tyus Jones, Chris Paul, and Trey Jones have a three headed dragon in there. But if they truly are going for a point guard, all-star caliber guy, I mean, the only free agent that has high potential technically as a reclamation project is Markel Fultz. Everybody else is like already established and Markel's already established. He's a defensive pass first guy who doesn't shoot three pointers. Now, Sean Sharania says on the Pat Act to show, show that the San Antonio Spurs are going to be in play for legitimately every top flight point guard on the market. I have heard in the past couple of days that Darius Garland is a guy that could become available. And I'm going to be quite frank, guys. If Darius Garland is available, that's somebody the, the Spurs should have interest in. And Victor Wembanyama made it clear that he's very, very ready to win right now. And that's good to hear. And when you look at Darius Garland, I feel like that's a guy that you could maybe package some. I mean, would they ask for Keldon? The deal would either be around Keldon Johnson and picks, or it would be around none of the the core six dudes who I think is Victor Wembanyama, Jeremy Sohan, Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Zach Collins. Do we throw in Trey Jones in there? I don't even know. Don Barr, I don't know. I don't know which of the young guys fully go in that list, but it makes sense. I don't, if the Hawks make Trey Young available in trade talks this offseason, the Spurs will show interest, Sean Sharani has said. I've just heard reporting that they will, you know, give up the farm for Trey Young. That's not. San Antonio's Victor Wembanyama has made impressions around superstars around the league, potentially wanting to team up with him in the future. And I don't know who the Spurs need to hear this, but we on a style falling for the engagement farm when it comes to Victor Wembanyama in timelines. And I agree with that. And for me, I think the biggest thing is when we look at Victor Wembanyama, he's going to be a guy that they want to match. I I've said this before. They look at him like a CJ Stroud on the Houston Texans. They're trying to maximize that rookie contract. So to me, it makes sense. What are your thoughts?